What is going on guys? This is Ben here, bringing another Brawl Stars video. We have a lot of cool things to get to today. We have the three brand new star powers that we can show you guys early via the developer build. We have the new star powers for Gene, Jesse, and BB today. And then on Wednesday, they are going to release in game and I'm going to be unlocking them and everything. And then also, I'm at my new trophy high, which is really, really awesome because I still there's still like six days left in the season. So I want to show you guys my progress with that. We have one last brawler to push up, but I don't want to spoil that too much. And now, First and foremost, let's check out the new star powers. Let me know what you guys think of these. Uh, I have not seen them yet in action, or I haven't seen them at all for any of these. So the new one for Gene is Pat on the back. So hitting teammates with Gene Super now heals them for 2,000 health. So say in a pinch, your teammates running away with some gems or something, just trying to get out of a bad situation. You can launch your shoot. So you can launch your super. At I'm having trouble talking right now. I don't know why, but you can launch your super. See, I don't know what is up today. You can launch your super, and then it's actually gonna heal them up. Now I don't actually think I can show this in here because I don't have any teammates. All right, guys. So I have his his super ready. I'm gonna see. There we go. So 2,000 HP. You launch it through them. I see this as being very situational. I kind of don't know if I... L <sighs> Obviously, I'm going to have to wait and test it out in the live game because I was so wrong last time when I did these early predictions with the star powers with the, with the Mortis one. I was like, oh, the Mortis dash is not going to be that great. But it's actually amazing. So, I don't know. Next up, we have BB. Let's see if this one is a little bit more interesting. We have Batting Stance. When BB's home run bar is fully charged, she shields herself from all damage by 30%. That could be actually broken. You could just sit on this and have a shield for so long. But at the same time, her original star power, which is home run, BB's movement speed is increased by 15% when her home run bar is fully charged, is actually very good as well. So we'll just try this one out here. See what it's like. You, you charge up your home run bar a lot. And getting your home run bar is very easy. And then you, oh my gosh, and you automatically get a shield. But obviously when you hit that shield goes away so this one it's it's tough because it's it's gonna come in a lot where you would like this damage reduction similar to very like for daryl how he rolls in get that's get that gets the damage reduction but the nice thing about bb's original star power is that she has that crazy movement speed where you can like juke dodge and all that stuff so you can see how long we are surviving against that bot there um i don't know i feel like it's it's very they're both very good uh that's just my first impressions on them now we are on to jesse jesse's new star power is shocky scrappy the turret now shoots energy orbs that bounce between enemies that's cool uh i want really, i really want to see how this one's good, like works because her original star power energize is very help, like helpful as well for healing up your turret and for it to be an annoying this is an annoying turret in general. I just want to see how her new turret reacts and how fast it shoots. Because if it shoots energy orbs at the same rate that it sh like shoots the normal turret, that's kind of crazy. So we have the turret. Let's launch it by these bots up at the top here. See what happens. See how fast it shoots them. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. It is melting. <laughs> Let's go, turret. Oh my goodness. So these little energy orbs aren't as powerful as the main one. They deal 336 damage per second. Honestly, even on the bounce. This is crazy. And now let's take a look at the normal turret without the bounces. Still shoot, it, it, I think it shoots at the same frequency. All it adds is, is a little bounces. This is a very tough choice. I'm gonna have to wait and see and play this in the live game to get my actual opinion on it. But my first initial reaction is, it's kind of broken because it gets the benefit of the bounce shots, like bouncing between the enemies. And that's really, really good. But at the same time, it is very good as well for Jesse with her original star power to heal up this turret and be annoying. So there we have it. Those are the brand new three star powers. The one I'm most excited for is definitely Jesse's and the turret, just to see how that works and the interactions with it. They're pretty crazy. I cannot wait to try and unlock them on Wednesday and see how that goes. But currently we are at our new trophy high now. We are at one or 16,720. 
Previously, we were at like 16,300. So this is the highest we have ever been. I gotta give a huge shout out to Gavin. I don't know if he's online right now, but uh, I was I was pushing with him like the other day, and then today we pushed like crazy. And he has actually he's actually in Race Clan, so that's really really awesome. Um, I actually found him randomly in matchmaking. Well, um, I figured it was like a couple days ago, and he went with his Colton, and it was awesome. So today played with him again, pushed up a ton of brawlers. Pretty much every single brawler I have, if they're not over 600, is at 600, except for one. My goal this season was 17,000 trophies or beyond, so I think we'll be okay there because there is still six days left in the season, which I'm extremely excited for. Maybe we'll get 18,000. We'll have to wait and see. Depends on how much I'm able to push. But the every, every brawler 600, except for one, is Pam. I don't know. I just... Pam, I don't feel like... I don't, I don't like playing her. I don't know why. Like, she's a solid brawler. She's not as good as she used to be, but she's still a solid choice, but she's not my favorite. But today we're gonna be pushing her for you guys because she's the last brawler I have to get to 600. Um, so we're gonna grind it up here. Going in here, this map is okay with her because it's a little bit of a longer range map. Um, it is gonna be annoying if we get like a Band-Aid Shelly because our team comp is pretty much long range except for Poco, but uh, Pam is a pretty good counter to Crow, which is nice because, because of her mama's heal. And oh my gosh, I thought, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> okay, uh, she's a good counter to Crow though, if you don't play like a noob. You guys didn't see that, all right? Uh, but going in here, we are facing a Daryl. I just need to get my turret. Like I said, I really like her original star power. I think it's much better um, for just the healing in, in general. Mama's Squeeze, that's one of her turret when the enemies walk in this green little thing. Well, it's red for them, it deals damage to them. I don't know, I don't really like it, but they do have a, is, do, do they have a Jesse too? Oh, I'm, I'm too busy talking right now. Yeah, they do. So we don't really want to group up too much uh, because of those bounce shots. Just imagine that turret getting the bounce shots too. I think that's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be really, really good. Her new star power. Sorry for not clarifying. And I'm throwing it down right here. Just, I don't know. I, I thought that Daryl was going to roll in on me. I guess he didn't. But we're getting close to the end here. See how much control we have because we have a lot of heal. The Jesse bounces. And the crow does have his jump though. I was waiting for it when it was gonna come out. Sadly, my turret did die. Oh gosh, this crow's eating me alive. The long heal up time. Feels like it takes ages. Good job, Jesse. I kind of just stood there, was like the little meat shield, threw to my turret a few times, and that was that. So not super eventful. Ooh, that Poco has the star power. I usually always team up with Pocos that have the new star power because it is ridiculous. It is so good. All right, good job, team. So I think we are going to team up here because I really liked how King Louie did have the star power and because that's so helpful. It adds so much dimension and layers to like how you can play Poco instead of just, oh, I didn't, he backed out. He was the main reason I wanted to say sorry, Jesse, but we're getting in again. Hopefully uh, the rust is off with Pam, as you can see. Uh, I haven't pushed her like at all. Gosh, we just need to, we just need to take care of one of them. Oh no, oh no. We did reset it somehow. Hopefully Tara has her drag now. Oh gosh, she still doesn't have her drag. She probably tossed it at the end because she thought that game was over. Well, we do have a gene drag or a dream pull. Well, that's wasted. Okay, never mind. Well, this one's just about done. That's all she wrote for this one. I got dragged right at the end. I don't know. We had a tough time there. We were struggling. All right, so we're making plays. This match wasn't really going super well. It was kind of boring, honestly, because this is like a standoff. Brock, they we're facing a Brock, and he opened up the map a lot on our side, but you can see how everyone's like a long-range brawler in this fight. Or this game. Oh no, I didn't even realize I had nine trophies. <laughs> trophies. Nine gems. Nice. They are going to... This guy's going to die here. There we go, that's what we like to see. Nice, that drag, that's going to seal the deal. They, if they would have waited and held back, it would have been a standoff, because they would have been able to get ten gems as well. Uh, so yeah, that was, um, like I said, a, bore a little bit boring standoffish map that ended up doing all right. So that gets us, actually, we're still ahead in trophies because you lose, you lose six. You win, you get eight. I like this team the, the best so far, composition-wise. I love Penny on this map. Uh, Spike, especially with Curveball, is awesome. 
And we're really gonna need the spike because of the the primo chilling right here. Please jump on me. Thank you. It's gonna be very, very helpful. Where did this Poco go? All right. Just keep running. Keep throwing. I mean, I do like the team comp. I never said anything about player-wise because that penny's getting destroyed by the Primo. There she goes. Once she gets her turret set, we'll be in a lot better position. Um, I didn't even mean to end up getting the gems, but it just kind of happened. But I did have to be careful of a Rico Super. That absolutely melts. Oh gosh, and a Primo jump. Woo! All right, well, we're good to go for the moment. At the moment. Let's launch this down. We have a lot invested on this side of the map here, so if that Primo takes the jump head, we're gonna lose a turret, and we're gonna lose my healing station. Oh gosh. Let's go. Okay, things going well. For the most, what the heck? When did this Primo get here? I honestly do not recall. That was close. Was it worth it for one gem? I do not know. But I cannot take another close call like that. Okay, launched it. Nice. This this Rico does have a super. Gotta go take him out. We gotta take someone out. Oh, they're so dead. Let's go, team. Nice. That Poco is annoying. It's frustrating here. They're all caught in the middle. Oh my gosh! Let's go, Spike! This Primo needs to die! He needs to die! Let's go! I'm gonna throw this over here. Alright, there's enough gems in the middle where I can fall back. Actually, no, one of our teammates gave them one gem. Dang it, dude. This is not gonna be in time. We have to go take care of their Poco. So I have 10 gems. It's not gonna drop in time. Dang it, man. It was a valiant effort. Ah, that one was close. I really did like our team comp there, I did. All right guys, so we actually ended up pushing Pam to 546 trophies. So we're gonna see if we can get her to like 550 tonight. Obviously the goal is gonna be to get her to 600, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. Maybe even 700 if I push up all the rest of them to 700, because I feel like I'm gonna go in increments um, unless I just get on a incredible like incredible run. So we'll see how this one goes. They need to making some interesting plays going down. Uh, we have two shotgun brawlers. Well, not shotgun brawlers, short range brawlers that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, the Frank and the pro, uh, the, the Primo. So this is gonna be a little difficult for us until like the map gets more wide open because we really do have some longer range brawlers than them, but they have, they're a lot, they're very short range. So this could be, I don't know. I kind of just took the hit. I don't know if it was worth it. Kind of because at the same time, we got our side opened up a little bit. We have some map control, hopefully soon. I know someone's chilling over here. Oh, it's the Nita. She's the one I'm going for right now. So thank you for the gems. Okay, got some. I'm trying to get out. Let's go. The Nita bear. Oh my gosh, Primo, you just gave us gems too. <sighs> Oh, that Primo's so dead, man. But we got a gem turnaround. That's really what we wanted. Uh, took care of the Primo this time. Map's getting opened up. They don't really have too much control right now, which is good. Tried to get the Frank backed out. Auto aim's coming out. Anita, once again, aggressive at the moment. I am very aggressive at the moment as well. Oh, gosh. This is a turning point. If this, if this Primo kills me... It's over. So we're throwing this down here just to distract him a little bit while I get my team over here. Trying to like help us out. Ugh. Okay, at least I dodge it. I thought I dodged it, but no, okay. Have to launch this right here, right now. Oh my gosh, that Frank. Let's go! Clutch super by the spike there! Hello! You hit very well. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna we're gonna troll a little bit here. Boop. 
Get me out of here. That wasn't too much trouble. I was going to wait till the last second, but I, then I rethought that because they could have just waited on their side, and it could have been very bad. Um, as long as this primo doesn't... Oh, it doesn't matter. One second left. Let's go. So that puts us into 550. Um, I, I'm really happy with the comps. That, well, the enemy probably isn't because they're all short range, and we're all pretty much long range. So, I guess I, I still am firm on the fact that I really think you should try and put a gem carrier on each team and gem grab and have like defined roles for brawlers so like that doesn't happen where they were all short range brawlers and we were all long range brawlers like mix it up a little bit i think i think that'd be cool hopefully that comes in the future but uh thank you guys so much for watching let me, let me know what you guys think about the three new star powers like i said i'm very curious to see how jesse's is i'll uh, thank you guys for watching subscribe and i'll see you guys later